What it do, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Fly City Vapor, representing the city of the dirty water, Flint, Michigan here. Um, this video is going to be about my journey from sub on tank to RTA. You know, if you see my earlier videos, you know I am a fan of the G Prayer by Smock. You know, I got the touchscreen mod version. Um, and, uh, the sub bump tank game is nice, you know. I will say it's a very good sub bump tank, <laughs> you know. I just, I wanted to try something different. And just like when you go from, you know, trick bikes to mountain bikes, you know, I just wanted to get that little level up. I eventually want to try to get into squawk and get into squawk mod because they say that's the best flavor. So I do want to get into that. But for right now, RTAs is just where I'm going to stay at. Now, RTA is a rebuildable tank atomizer, which means that you really basically build your own coils and you're putting your own cotton. Now, with the advantages over us from a from a uh, RTA to a sub ohm tank is that your coils are last for a very long time. I've had these coils in my tank for probably I say about three weeks. Three weeks. I've had the I've had them coils in, and anybody who uses the Big Baby Beast knows that three weeks using the same coil, not gonna happen. Now I have changed cotton a couple times, but cotton is literally. What, I use cotton bacon, and this was what, like seven dollars. So very cheap, very cheap stuff. Seven dollars. I'll take seven dollars over twenty any day. So, um, now there's a lot of things you need to learn about, learn from going from sub ohm tanks to RTAs. See, with sub ohm tanks, I feel like them are the last really, you know, very, very, very light hands on thing. You know, a lot of people, if you want to stay with the sub ohm tanks, I have no problem with you. I applaud you. You're vaping. I'm happy. You know, I just like building stuff. I like messing with stuff. I like doing things. So, you know, I've used, I use pre-built coils that I put in my RTA. Um, I use the, right now I think I have the coil, yeah, I do I have the Coilogy 7-in-1 kit. You know, here it is. Right here from Coilogy. As you can see, I've you know, got to use a couple. You know, trying to figure out how to get the, how to get the deck just right, how to get the coils just even and stuff like that, you know. Um, the switch is not easy, not going to lie. It's very frustrating because the number one thing about RTAs is wicking. Wicking, 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 fucking wicking. Arr! You know, it just drives me up the fucking wall thinking about wicking. It's just so irritating, you know, because it's like when you first, when you saw first start wicking, me, I didn't want it to hurt. I, didn't, I felt like I didn't want to hurt the coils. Like I would treat them like a little kid. You know, you want to be like an infant. You want to be real careful. You don't want to squeeze too hard. But the problem was I wasn't wicking it. I wasn't using enough cotton, and my shit would just leak. So, like, if you go from a sub ohm tank to, like, a um, RTA or RDA, I would advise you to get a cotton. I mean, get a e-liquid that you that's inexpensive that you understand the flavor of and you can get a lot of you know i made them i made them mis the mistake of using like my favorite e-juice on it and i literally like shit it through almost a whole bottle and like a 60 ml bottle just like this matter of fact it's it was this right here my pop rocks bubble gum i like it because it's a uh, it's a good way to change you know to change your palate because if you vape on the same stuff too long your palate like it won't it won't taste as flavorful, and then you know, unless you go to something completely different, like this regular bubble gum, this right here, it just changes my flavor and it makes it only make this taste better after I baked that for a while. Um, but getting sidetracked, Ooh, can't put that there. Um, yeah, waking is a motherfucker, and then the problem is, is that there's not that many videos that show you the proper way of waking, and then there's different types of waking, like. Uh, when I've got my, uh, my thing here, my coilology, co my coil masters kit, I'm sorry, sorry coil masters, um, it came with kind of like the sheets like this, you know, and this is some, some Japanese, some generic Japanese cotton, you know, 
circle, but it came in pads like this. But you can also get them. I should be touching my cotton without my gloves on, but you know what? Put my glove on. My hands are probably dirty. And then you get cotton like this, which comes in like little bricks. And I like these one because I'll put the and I'm gonna put this video link in the description, but there's a video that showed you how to literally break this in half, break it in half, and break it, I think, like, one more time or two more times, and you'll get a perfect, like, now I can just, I can tell by, just by when I see it, I know, okay, this is the perfect size, but you can basically just keep breaking this in half until you get a perfect size cotton for your three millimeter coil. It's very easy, and if I wouldn't do that from the beginning, I wouldn't have used up so much cotton, because I have used up a lot. I think I went through, like, two sticks of this, and, like, one of these, like, they get a, you get a big sheet with the coil map kit. I think I went to, like, the first whole first sheet of that one. And all my coil out of cotton. But TFV, the Big Baby Beast RBA section, that took a little bit of that cotton, too. But most of it was for me learning how to wick. Wicking will make you mad. That's why I say get a liquid that's cheap. Like, go on Dollar E-Juice Club, get you a little nice 100 mil bottle for, like, I think it's, like, 25 bucks. And use that because if it leak and you're not gonna be as mad, you know. Me, I so I use the uh, this this alien piss too that I do not like. It's supposed to be strawberry lemonade, but I use that, you know. And you know, it after multiple attempts, I finally got it right. Finally got the idea. I know what I wanted to do, you know. And like I like while I'm talking about cotton, I might as well go ahead and talk about coils. If I can find all my coils, try to hide from me. You know, right now, like I said, I'm using the 7-in-1 kit. You know, these are NI-80 coils. I believe one of them isn't. Oh, no, nope, nope, all NI-80. I'm using the multi-strand fuse clappings. They ohm out at a point. They ohm out at 3.32, but I got a dual build in there, so I think it's like 0.16, 17, I want to say. Um... They're through all three millimeter uh, diameter. I only have two that don't. That's these wicked looking chain link coils. Which I have not tried yet because I just, I know they a little scary to me. And I was trying to get my cotton, my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Trying to get my uh, wicking down. Plus, you know, my coil works so good right now. I really don't want to take it out and ruin, you know, fucking up what I work so hard for. Plus, I'm, I'm cheap. Almost coughed there. Trying to take them big boy hits for you guys. Um, no, is that? Oh. Tripping. My fingers must have been wet from the ages. I thought I was leaking. <laughs> All right, now, I, like I said, I do use them, them cantho, I mean, them NI, NI-80 coils, but also, like I said, I have some um, some uh, pre-made, what's these, alien coils from Advanced Vert Supply, Supply. Also got, I got some quad core fuse clefting, oops, nope, quad core aliens, I'm sorry, quad core aliens, and then they also have a 10-pack sample pack i wish he would have had a better way of just separating the coils but i understand you know it would probably cost a lot more if you had to pay for it you know he had to put each an individual one in the package but i do i don't like that story you know, need to figure out something about this maybe like a small rubber band or something it just needs they need to be all together for the new the new uh vapors because you know they ain't gonna, they're not really going to be able to tell. I mean, you can kind of tell between the different ones, but it's like, you know, you get scared. You hope you don't fuck up. But to the queen of the show, actually the king, the Reload RTA by Reload USA. Now, a Reload Vapor USA. Now, this is how it comes. Beautiful. My, this is my attachment. I use that to keep it, you know, sanitary if it's in my pocket and stuff like that. I will have to say, I love this thing. 
after finally getting the cotton right, now I'm in love with it. You know, this thing is, it chucks, it hits, it's beautiful. Just up my alley. I don't got no leaking problem, nothing like that. Cotton right. There's a guy in the video description I'll show you. A.O. Red, shout out to you, bro. You got my cotton game, 100. Um, it's just beautiful flavor. Beautiful flavor. I understand why people now use their own cotton. And plus, it's just it's a lot more convenient, a lot cheaper. I love it, man. That flavor is just mm, kind of just saturates your mouth. I just never experienced that before. I can really tell the difference between a sub bomb and an RTA. Um, vaping her around 77.2 watts. You probably can't see that. 77.2 okay, watts. Um, we yeah, have 0.16 ohms. She's a beast. I love her. Wouldn't trade her for the world. She is expensive. This was like $75 purchase. You know, from Vape Block. It's an app, not an actual website. So if you don't like apps, you know, hey, there's some online dealers that sell them. Might be like five dollars more, but hey, if you don't want to use the app, you don't have to. Um, only kind of half of this thing is that I do not like the tip. This little Dell ring is just for me. Like if you look at my finger, it's just it's just too close. You feel me? I will at least like you know. I say, turn my finger sideways, actually. I like that much clearance, at least, between my mouthpiece and this. Because I feel like I can't, you know, I don't want to, I can't, I got I got black lips. You know, big, juicy black lips. So if I try to put my mouth on it, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm, it's just feel weird, you know. And when I'm vaping in high water, just, I can just... That just does not feel right, and it's not too sharp, but it is a little sharp. I'm just afraid, you know, my lips be dry, twist that way, might cut my lip. Me, on, a, I prefer to let's see if I still got it in here or if I moved it. Yep, I moved it. I took the actual chuff cap from my big baby beast, got rid of this. Boom. Works perfectly. Got lucky. <coughs> um, one kind, another kind that I don't like is I don't like the way you you feel it because we, with a big baby beast, when you want to feel, you just twist it and it'll twist and sit just like this. It'll sit attached, you know. But this one doesn't attach. It's free, you know. Which at first made it very hard to figure out, like. Oh God, okay, where am I going to put this thing at? Because, you know, I want to vape. So either, at first I was doing this. I would just put it over on one of the tops of my thing. And I thought, like, you know, let's be real smart. Since so I use these little little condom things, I just you know, slide it in there. Sits perfect. You know, I can really move this thing around and it ain't going to jump. Need some more liquid. Another thing I forgot to say. Another thing I love about this thing is that I can keep it all the way open and hit it. You know, straight in here. Or I can limit it. And hit it like a regular cigarette. Which which is which is convenient because sometimes I know some people aren't straight in you know inhalers yet. So this future proofs your device because you can just start off as mouth to lung and then move up to a straight direct inhale. But I kind of like the mouth to lung because you know it's a lot less smoke. So like if I'm I don't want to make that many clouds, or I'm just trying to take a quick little hit. Or, you know, I'm in the car with the kids, you know, I don't want to fill the car up, so I just take, you know, I just use my little mouth to lung style. 
Right? If you do get it too close, it will make a whistle sound. For me, I just, I just make it a little bit wider till it's gone. The whistle sound doesn't really bother me like that. I mean, you know, way more annoying things in life than that. So we gonna, I think I'm out of liquid now. We gonna, yep, I am. We gonna drop down to the deck. Let me show you what I'm working with. Here we go. Mm. Cotton bacon looking real good. But real good. Now what you want to make sure is that you put up. Make sure there's a little hole. Oops. Right here. Here we go. Right here. A little hole that goes from here down. Just sticking your tip of your blade in. That's just so that you can make room for the air bubbles and you want to make sure it covers you want to make sure it covers the sides a little bit because you don't want no leakage no leakage no leakage oh that's not going to look anything special at that well there we go let's see while we work we blowing gas baby Blowing gas. All right. <sighs> Careful with these threads. Oh, another con would be that I wish that the yeah moved around a little bit on me. Yeah, there we go. I wish that the um. This, the uh, hex screws, I wish those were a lot beefier. Would have made things a lot easier. A whole lot easier. But, you know, oops. She, she, she. It would have made things easier. Because I already stripped one. I stripped that boy like on my third like refill I mean my third time trying to wick I'm trying to change the coils cause like this postless deck is very it's a difficult way of trying to uh, set the coils up cause you basically have to just eyeball how high you want it and then work from there as you can see Still, no leaking. Fill it up to about there, that's good. See, didn't put it in a condom. Don't know what I did with it. Wow. Feeling like I said, boom. Wow, no leaking. Dry as hell. See? Dry as hell. Mm, a little wet. First two hits. But by the third one, it's just right. Perfect. Well, I just talked about everything. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm going to put the links in the descriptions for the video. So, I mean, for the other videos that I use to perfect my cutting built in game. Besides that, you have a wonderful night. Bape on. Fuck them cigarettes. I've been cigarette free for about a week. Feeling good. And you know, like I tell anybody. You don't have to quit as soon as you start vaping. It's a steady and slow transition, you know. Just, your goal is to smoke less, vape more.
Have a wonderful night.